We'll guide you through how to make a custom Minecraft skin for Minecraft Java, but also Minecraft Bedrock, and we'll show you how you can change it as well. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and get started, come out of Minecraft. I'm going to open up a web browser of your choice. I'm using Chrome. Now to go and do this, we're going to be using a site called Skindex. So what you can do is go and type it in like so. Here it is at the top, minecraftskins.com. So on here, there are going to be loads of skins other people have made, but we're going to be creating our own. So come to the top and you can go and press editor like so. And here we are. On the left, you've got these different tools here we'll be using. I'll explain them as we use them. We've got the color to the right here and we've got the body here as well. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, I'll put a link in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. So you can scroll down and start checking out some of their great features. For example, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency and much, much more as well. So if you're interested, you can go and check them out. As I said, the link below, a big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. Now to continue, what I like to do is go and remove the outer layer. So come to the right and remove it. You can go and turn it on later to add more texture and things, but for now we don't need it. So let's go and start on at the main body. I like to go and remove the other parts just by clicking them in the bottom right here. So we have the main body. So then what you can do is go and choose a color of the clothing you'll be wearing. I'm going to do sort of like a hoodie design. So in this case, I'm going to go and do a green. So I'm going to go and select a nice green just over to the right here. After you've done that, what I like to use is this tool here called Autotone. Then what you can do is click, hold and drag, and you're going to go and see it makes a really nice sort of varying color of it. And you want to click, hold and drag and go and cover the entire thing. So I've now done this face here, then you can click, hold and drag to rotate. And what we can do is go and repeat that for each side. Of course, make sure you don't go and miss a square and make sure you do the top and bottom as well. That's it, that's now complete. And then what we can do is go and add in one of the arms and then remove the main body and we can go and do this as well. Once you've finished it, you can then go and click on the other arm and we can go and do this one. So we've roughly done the main part of the body now. Let's go and add on the head and we can go and turn off the other parts like so. So now what we need to do is choose a skin color. Of course, you may want to do something different. Then we can grab the autotone tool and we can go and color in the head like so. Now we can go and start doing the hair. Now you may have gone and lost track of the face on which side it's going to be. If that's the case, you can go and put on the arm. So I'm doing the left arm, but it's appearing on the right. If I go and rotate it, we can then make sure we've got the face facing us. So for the hair, go and choose the color you want to use. I've got that selected. And then what we can do is go and start on the top. I'll click, hold and drag like so. You can go and decide how you want the hair to look on the front of the face and the side as well. Personally, I usually go and have it sort of going down as you can see I've done there. And I have a little bit of skin at the back like so. You can see I've now finished adding the hair. And now what you could do is go and enable the outer layer here and you can start adding a bit more texture if you want to. So I may do a little bit of that now just to add a bit more effect. I'm now happy with the hair and I want to go and add in the eyes. To do that, I'm just gonna go and grab the tool at the top here. We can go and choose the color. I'm gonna go and do a sort of a, probably a black color like so, and then go and click roughly where you want them to be. I'll go and have them just here like so. Then what we can do is go and hide the head. And what I want to do is go and do a bit more of the skin color. And what we're going to do is then work on the legs. So let's go and enable one like so. What you can do is go and choose the color of the pants or the trousers, we'd call them in the UK. I'm going to go for a dark gray color. So I'll go and select that. What I'm going to do is remove the outer layer as I'm not going to use it. Select the autotone tool and start going over the leg. What we can then do is go and put the other one on and hide the one we already did and do the same thing. I've now finished both legs and I'm going to go and enable the rest of the body like so. I've now finished both legs and I'm going to go and enable the rest of the body like so as I want to go and add some more detail. What I want to do is go and add some stuff to the bottom of the trousers. So I'm going to go and grab a white. I'll grab the autotone tool and then what I'll do is go and remove one of them. And what I'm going to do is just go and color in the bottom like so. And I'll go and add a bit of a band at the bottom to make it look like there's some trainers on. What we could do is go up a little bit like so as well. We can do the same thing for the other. We'll go around at the bottom. Then what we can do is we can do the front here as well. And I'm gonna do some stuff to the arms. Let me just go and turn everything else off. So I want to go and actually grab the skin color. So I'll se select the face. I'll go and grab the color tool and I'll go and select some color here. Then what we can do is hide that again. And I'll go and grab the auto tone tool. 
So what I'm gonna do is go and add some skin just to the bottom here and to the sides. I added one line and now what I'm doing is just adding some white ribbon just above it as you can see. Then what we want to do is I want to go and open up the main body. What I'm gonna do now is grab some skin color by using the color tool and then I'll come to the top. And what I want to do is go and add a bit of uh, neck essentially. So I'm gonna go and grab the auto tone tool and I'll just go and put some in the middle. And then what I'll do is just make sure it comes down a little bit on the front to go and make sure it does look kind of realistic like so. What I like to do as well is just go and enable the outer layer. Of course, you can add more details or remove parts you don't want. For example, I added eyes to the outer layer, which I'm gonna remove. I'm now happy with that. And what we can do is go and press download at the bottom. And so now we can go and apply it. Let's start with Minecraft Java. What you can do is go and open it up. At the top, you can go and select skins and you want to press new skin. We can go and give it a name, I'll name it test. You can go and choose the player model. We'll just keep wide and press browse. Go and locate where you downloaded it. And we can then go and press open and we can then press save and use. Next time we launch Minecraft is gonna be used. And what you need to do is press dressing room in the bottom right. You can go over to the top left and press the three lines and press classic skins. In own skins, click on this blank one and press choose new skin. Now your downloads will open, select it, and you can press open. You can choose the build or use the one on the right. And there we have it there. That's it. You can then get into a game and it's going to go and be applied.